no Indian military personnel, not even those in civilian clothing, would be present inside the Maldives after May 10th. These are the words of the Maldives President Mohammed Muizu, the same man, the same language. This statement comes as his country signed a deal with China to receive free military aid, which is not even surprising given the context. As you recall, as soon as Mohammed Muizu took office as the Maldives president, he ordered all Indian soldiers to leave the country, setting a deadline of March 10th. Subsequently, numerous rounds of talks occurred between India and the Maldives, resulting in an agreement that the troop replacement would happen in two phases. The first phase by March 10th and the final removal by May 10th. India finally sent its first civilian team to replace the military personnel last week, ahead of the March 10 deadline. Now, what are the Indian troops doing in the Maldives? Currently, around 88 Indian military personnel are there primarily to operate two helicopters and an aircraft that have conducted hundreds of medical evacuations and humanitarian missions. India agreed to remove their troops from the Maldives under one condition that a civilian team equivalent to the military presence would operate the aircraft. It's important to note that Moizu became the president on an India out policy promising the complete removal of Indian troops and he's also extremely pro-China. Returning to the provocative statement by the Maldives president that is widely reported, he said and I quote, they, meaning Indian military, are not departing, but they are returning after changing into civilian clothing. There will be no Indian troops in the country come May 10th, not in uniform and not in civilian clothing. The Indian military will not be residing in this country in any form. I state this with confidence, unquote. Let's also talk about the latest deal with China. Now, both Maldives and China signed a defense cooperation agreement under which China will provide free military assistance to foster stronger bilateral ties. The details of the defense cooperation are not yet public. While the Maldives is distancing itself from India, it's cozying up to China, which has gifted 12 eco-friendly ambulances to the country. Additionally, the Maldives recently allowed a Chinese research vessel to dock at Malay port, despite concerns that Beijing may use the ship to collect data from the Indian Ocean region for military purposes. The Maldives is so adamant about ousting Indian troops that, according to reports, it has established a partnership with Sri Lanka to operate flights for medical evacuations. Now, why such a small archipelago of so much concern to India? That's because the Maldives is just 70 nautical miles from the island of Minicoa in Lakshwadeep. Both countries are experiencing a downturn in ties. The Maldives, which used to be a popular vacation spot for Indians, has seen a sharp drop in visitors from India. Meanwhile, the Maldives government has also said that it's reviewing more than 100 bilateral agreements signed with India by previous governments. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.